in this problem here, I want to talk about the concept of uh, complement and probability. Because if you remember the concept of complement, it was something like the idea of I had something like the even numbers, right? And then so the complement of that, or E complement, um, would mean not, right? Not even. And in probability, that's going to play a really big role in helping us solve some problems and kind of work our way through something that may be very difficult to count and actually making it quite simple if we keep in mind that instead of counting what we want, what we can do is count what we don't want. Um, and so I'll explain that in a second here. Um, so if you knew, for example, that there was a 30% chance that I was going to have lunch today, and I will tell you right now, there's probably a 0% chance I'm going to have lunch today in reality. But that's beside the point. Um, if you know there's a 30% chance that I'm going to have lunch today, um, what is the chance that I won't get to have lunch? Well, you already know the answer to that question. If I tell you there's a 30% chance I will, you are hopefully sitting here saying, well, then there's a 70% chance you won't, right? Well, how we're going to kind of note that is I'll say, all right, all right, the probability of me having lunch is 30 per, whoops, I'll write as 0.3. All right, so therefore, what is the probability of me not having lunch? Well, that would be the same as 1 minus the probability of me having lunch. Because the idea is the 1 represents 100%. So if I, the thing I want can be easily counted by saying, what is the thing, you know, the opposite of it, and then subtract that from 100%, well, then that's 1 minus 0.3, which would be 0.7. So that means there is a 70% chance that I will not have lunch today. And I never had to know that actual probability. I just knew the likelihood of me having lunch. So that's the idea of complement. And it's a really, really simple and basic one. We'll get to some problems later where, where you're, they're not going to be so simple and basic. But that's a good start.